guys, it's Rob. Hope you're doing good out there. So, I don't even know where to start with this video. I really don't know where to start. Basically, I'm pretty sure I've been holding a guitar pick wrong my entire life, my entire guitar playing life. So, picking in general has always been something that I've never really got on with fully. I would consider my picking, if I could sum it up in one word, it would just be okay. I'm okay at picking. I'm not great at it, I'm not bad at it, just okay. And I've tried over the years to get better at it and more precise and that sort of thing, but it just doesn't really seem to work. I even recently posted a video on my Instagram of me playing some Yngwie Malmsteen style, fast run, that sort of thing. And somebody actually commented, and they weren't being nasty or anything like that. They were just pointing out, they just said, it sounds cool, but your picking hand looks weird or something. I can't remember what they said exactly, but you know, they're not wrong. My picking hand just looks weird. It just, I don't know, it doesn't look right. I look at other guitar players and their picking hand always looks so relaxed and really effortless and they've just got everything figured out. And I never really seem to have that. So I've tried over the years to fix it. And the main thing I've been looking at is just the position of my hand and trying to sort of mimic what I'm seeing on these other videos of other people. Then anyway, I put it out of my mind and recently I was just watching videos on YouTube as I do frequently and a video came on that I didn't even click onto. It was like a suggested video. The video I was watching finished and then another one started and it was by The Art of Guitar and it was titled something like, this should be everybody's first guitar lesson or something like that. And I thought, oh, this is an interesting video because I teach guitar, so it's always interesting to know what another guitar teacher would consider to be the first things to show somebody on a beginner's guitar lesson. So I was watching it. And the first thing is, well, one of the first things he talked about was picking and how to hold a plectrum. And basically, let me grab a plectrum. So I've got a pick. And the way that he says to hold a pick is to imagine you're doing an okay sign with your hand. You like you do that sort of thing, okay, the okay symbol, put your hand like that, but basically cross your thumb over the side of your first finger like that. And then basically the plectrum fits in there like that, so that the face of the thumb is on the side of the plectrum, the face of the thumb, and the, the other side of the plectrum is on the side of your first finger on your picking hand. So kind of like this sort of thing, yeah? And then when I play the guitar like that, that's how my hand would then rest. And if I'm alternate picking or something like that, it seems immediately a good way of doing it. That's not what I do, and that's what I've never done. What I do, I mean, I hold it between my thumb and first finger, but what I do is I've always held it with the face of my thumb and the face of my first finger as well, kind of like I'm just pinching it like that. So when I'm picking, you can kind of see straight away, it looks a lot more I don't know, it just doesn't look the same as what everybody else does. And it doesn't look as controlled or it doesn't look as natural, that sort of thing. But that's just what I've always done. So then I thought, why don't I just watch another video and see if anybody else has got any suggestions or any holding a plectrum advice or anything like that. So I did, and I found a video by Daryl Sims, How to Hold a Plectrum. So I watched it and he basically says exactly the same thing as the art of guitar, which is to hold the plectrum on the face of your thumb, on the side of your first finger, and kind of hold it like that, the way that, yeah, the way that I haven't been doing it. So then I thought I would do a little bit more research, go to the best source of information there is, Google, and I did a Google image search of how to hold a plectrum, a guitar pick. And every picture basically does exactly what those other two guys said in their video. So I'm pretty sure I've been holding a plectrum wrong my entire life. So now that begs the question, is it even worth me changing it at this point? If I've been doing that for 17 years, nearly 18 years since I started learning the guitar, and that's how I've always held a plectrum, is there any point in me really changing what I do now, or shall I just stick with what I've been doing for all of that time? I think the answer really is a bit of both. I think I can use this other picking style to play about with and see if it just improves things a little bit, a bit more accuracy maybe, or even just the look of it, or how my picking flows, that sort of thing. But I don't think I'm going to be able to undo 17 years worth of practice and playing. That's going to be a lot of effort and, a, and it's kind of inbuilt into me now. So I don't know if I can just get rid of it just like that. So this is how I've always held it with the face of each finger. Well, the finger and thumb both on the face like that. And when I try and do some picking like that, any sort of fast sort of thing, 
it just kind of, these fingers tend to straighten up like that and I'm kind of doing this weird thing with my hand. So the new style is to hold it, as I said, more like that. I don't know if you can see that properly, but now the plectrum is on the side of that finger and the face of my thumb. And when I put it down like that, we've got a more natural, apparently, way of doing it. I mean, this is what a lot of people do. So if it works for everybody else, surely it's gonna work for me. It's just gonna take a bit of practice and hopefully getting used to. You might notice that in my guitar playing style, if you've seen any of my other videos or anything like that, whether it's a cover or me just jamming to something, I do a lot more legato and sort of, I even do a bit of hybrid picking over on this side now. I basically think I avoid alternate picking where I can like, fast sort of alternate picking things that require a lot of accuracy because of my picking hand. finding myself kind of going back and forth between each style, my old way and the new way. It's it's weird, it's like maybe I'm developing my own in-between sort of way, maybe that will help, I don't know, a nice balance of each. <laughs> Doing the hybrid picking thing feels a little bit weird when the plectrum is in this position because my hand just isn't used to it. So that's something else I'm gonna to have to get used to now. So that's what I wanted to make a video about today, just because obviously I like to document my guitar journey on this channel, but please let me know in the comments below if you do either the way that I used to pick, or well, kind of still do, but obviously I'm gonna try and get out of that, or do you pick the other way, hold the plectrum on the side of your first finger and the face of your thumb like that, like all of basically the pictures that I've seen and videos of other people doing it. I really don't know why I didn't look into this sooner and maybe if I'd have done this from the start, my picking now would be a lot better. So basically, I know my picking at the moment and my playing, I'm gonna make excuses and say that it's a little bit sloppy still. So, you know, the mistakes are free of charge as Joe Bonamassa says, but I'm gonna be watching this space for myself and just to see if there's any progression in the next few weeks, months, years, of trying to maybe hold the plectrum a little bit of a different way. Basically, every time I pick up a guitar and pick up a plectrum, it's gonna be on my mind to just try and hold it differently. And I'm hoping that over time, it will just sink in and actually have some sort of benefit to my playing. But also let me know if you think, Rob, there's no point. You've been doing something for 17 years, you may as well just stick to that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, that sort of thing. It's a really interesting topic to me, so please do get involved in the comment section below, let me know what you think. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it was interesting in some sort of way. If you did, then please click the like button. It really means a lot when people like my videos. It helps me with the algorithm and that sort of thing. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and hopefully I will see you in another video. So thanks for watching.